Um, my name is Kevin Patrick. I go by Field Medic. Um, I've been living in San Francisco for about five years. I've been in the Bay Area for most of my life. I spent a little bit of time in Nebraska as a boy when I was a figure skater. And I play music because it makes me feel better when I feel bad. And it makes me feel better when I feel good as well. It just feels good to do. Mostly I play acoustic guitar. Uh, I play banjo, I play harmonica. Uh, I like to play bass when I record sometimes, it's pretty fun. And I was mostly influenced growing up um, in the early years by emo, MySpace acoustic duos. Um, I was really into that stuff, the scene aesthetic, definitely. You know, I think secretly for every person that makes music that we make, there was a certain point in their life when they were like 14 that they definitely listened to that album and especially the Beauty and the Breakdown a lot. And Daffy Loves Derby and all this. So I was really into all this kind of emo, like girlfriend breakup music when I was younger. And then I discovered Bob Dylan through my dad's CD collection. I borrowed a bunch of his Bob Dylan albums and never gave them back. And through Bob Dylan, I started learning more about folk music, you know, like Woody Guthrie and Ramblin' Jack Elliott and all those people and kind of followed it down to like Nick Drake and so I, I really learned through folk music that it's possible to write acoustic music that's not just about not going to the Sadie Hawkins with your one true love. So I'd say that it was a turning point for me when I first heard Bob Dylan and, and was just amazed by how great his lyrics were and how he conveyed how he felt. And then also other various influences are super ghetto, Bay Area rap music and Tupac and Basically, I like anything that, I'm influenced by anything that is honest and true from the heart, you know. Uh, so I had a project when I was in high school called Westwood and Willow, which was my first solo project. My first solo, my first project, which was not solo, was this band called Dissonant Heart. That was with my friend Clayton. And then I was in various screamo bands, and then my brother Sean was in a band called Pericardium that played a lot in San Jose. And so then I started doing Westwood and Willow and, and playing some shows with them. And when we moved to San Francisco, Sean's band slowly disbanded, so he joined Westwood and Willow on guitar initially. And then we decided to record an album, so he started playing bass. And then we got a show where we needed drums, so then that's how we got Andrew, our drummer, for the band. And then for a long time, Renton Tiger was sort of a mix of what was originally Westwood and Willow and then what was becoming like Renton Tiger, the sound. And then when we reached a certain point with RTT, we were rocking so much that there wasn't as much space for my solo music. So that's when I started Field Medic about three years ago to be able to do the folk stuff that I love. I have been nervous before, but I, I don't really get all that nervous. I get nervous leading up to a show. If we have a big show, or I have a big show, I'll be nervous like weeks leading up to it, thinking that like, you know, getting worried that something's gonna happen. But usually the day of the show, if I'm there, I'm just excited to get to play for people and I find it very enjoyable. Um, there isn't really a regiment for me. I, I can go, sometimes I'll go entire weeks without playing guitar. Um, for whatever reason. So I'll just pick it up when it feels right and sometimes I'll play for three hours straight or I'll put myself on a schedule or I'll practice, tell myself I'm gonna practice guitar for an hour straight every single day. And I do that when I have time, but it kinda, sometimes I'll play in the morning, sometimes I'll play in the afternoon, sometimes I'll play at night. It, it's just kind of whatever feels right, you know? There could be like a weird feeling when you pick up a guitar and you're not really inspired, so you don't really want to play. But I do think it's important in order to just play. It's kind of like reading a book. You have to start playing. If you're not really, really in the mood, like you have to read your book for like 20 minutes before you're really in it. So you have to just focus. So for me, like practicing, 
if I want to literally practice. Sometimes I just force myself to practice for exactly one hour straight. And I look at the kitchen clock when I do it. I think that when people say that music is like the universal language, that's hella true, you know? Um, it feels good to play, it feels good to listen to, and there's like so many, it just speaks to you in a way that nothing else does. And especially the combination of really nice melodies and music and like lyrics that are meaningful. That's what's always moved me. And you know, there's been times in my life where I don't even know how I would have like survived if I didn't have like a particular album or song to listen to that I felt connected with me as a person and helped me like realize that I wasn't alone in this experience that I was having. And ultimately, it's just hella chill to do secretly because it's fun to play and it's it's like good for you, you know what I mean? It's like art therapy. I think I think everybody should do more art and I think everybody is capable of doing whatever they want because all it takes is practice and patience and the joy of the experience and it doesn't even matter if you're like good or bad quote unquote because who cares it's for you at the end of the day like making music is for you and that's hell chill